Roberts in 1974 became the first Antiguan to represent the West Indies and progressed in leaps and bounds. The Tearway Speedster emerged as the first West Indian fast bowler to garner 200 test wickets and finished with 202 in just 47 matches. Roberts realized at an early age that he needed to take personal responsibility to facilitate his elevation. Nobody can do it for me. I have to do it myself. And I had no coaching, no formal coaching, no, no one of any high standard to look up to. I had some guys from Erlins, you know, names like Egbert Josiah, Omega Williams, Samuel Tung, who I emulated from maybe 13, 14. I wanted to represent Erlins and be as good as them. But um, representing the West Indies at the time was... Um, furthest thing from my mind. The conqueror of 889 first-class victims allowed observation and commitment to influence his overall development. I think that never having a coach, I think that the only way I could learn is by watching people and see what they do. And I took that with me into county cricket. You know, just watching every ball and commit myself to hard work because cricket is not an easy sport. And fast bowling is the hardest of, of, of um, hardest part of cricket. Roberts revealed that his game was influenced as well by the remarkable England fast bowler Freddie Truman. An article by Truman led to a significant change. I had a funny action where my two arms went across my body, you know, um, just going straight from my shoulders, nothing going up or nothing going back. And I read an article by Fred Truman you know, that um, I could be a great bowler if I get my arms up. And I just went in the nets and work, worked at it. It took me about two years to complete the action. Roberts went on to be the spearhead of the most devastating quarter of fast bowlers in West Indies cricket history. Jack Matthew, ABS Sports.